took me a while for to set up. Um, but yeah, we are here today to check out a long time album that I have been trying to get on this channel. Um, but unfortunately, well, we got sidetracked. So we did Mechana, we did Devin Townsend, we did Amiensis, we did Will to Run, we did a whole bunch of stuff. I was like, dude, when are you ever going to request me Conflict, their second album? He's like, oh, you haven't heard it? I was like, no. <laughs> dude, nine times out of ten, whenever a band sends me an album that you know I haven't done on the channel, I don't listen to it normally because I want it to be a genuine reaction. I've heard a total of, I think, four songs on this album. Um, but I'm ready to just jump into this, dude. Um, so this is going to be our full album reaction to Conflict, Transformation into a Human. Um, and I own this CD. Um, I'll grab it for you guys real quick uh, to show my appreciation towards Anna and the boys um, for being a huge support to this empire. Because they have been with us before 100 subscribers. So that's that's huge to me. If you guys have been here before 100, then that's fucking huge. I'm pretty sure they were here before Alex was here. And Alex has been with us for a long time. Alright. So. Um, story how I met this band. Um, I was basically listening to um, the radio uh, in a government vehicle at my work and they just popped up because I was listening to Fear Factory I think I think I was listening to Fear Factory obsolete album and uh, I'm a huge Fear Factory yeah I'm a huge Fear Factory fan see I can't even talk um I love Fear Factory like I love fucking Fear Factory and when I saw that Burton Seabell was on their latest album which just amazed me I was like what so I had to listen to it, right? I had to listen to it. So I listened to it. I was like, wow, this band is sick as fuck. And then I uh, did a reaction to that track, which I believe is called Decision Code. Is that the correct track? No, The Architect. Right. And it's, I did a reaction to Decision Code. And uh, Anna Hell, the lead singer, uh, had hit me up on Facebook in a message. She's like, dude. Thank you so much for doing our review. I don't know how <laughs> she found out it was me, but I guess people here through the grapevine who I am as a person. But I immediately bought the full discography of this band. Um, there was a government box set that were, they were selling on their band camp, and I bought it all, dude. Um, not to mention I have reviewed their first album, Prototype. It's all in Russian, and I translated all of these from Russian into English, and it can be found on the channel. Not only did I do Prototype, I also did Decision Code live. Um, two of these albums were fantastic. Now, my patron, Alex, had told me, dude, you need to jump on Transformation. And I was like, well, you got to put it in for an album review because uh, it's very hard for me to just pick an album to do uh, anymore. Uh, they got their singles they sent me. Uh, they got their single for Low Frequency Addicted. This is probably my favorite thing they've done, in my personal opinion. And finally, we got Transform into Human. Um, on top of this, on top of this, the band themselves had signed their latest album, um, and it wasn't even included in the, in the box set. So they saw they saw that my real name, um, Guido, <laughs> my real name Guido. Uh, they saw that I bought the box set, right? Um, and they signed it, bro. They signed it. Look at this. Each member signed next to their picture. Now this band is a self-funded band, um, and they're. They're just absolutely fantastic, man. I love this band. They have a new album coming this year. Apparently, last time I talked to her, she said it was coming this year. Um, but it says, From Russia with love to our biggest American fan, Guido. And then they sent this January 4th, 2020 conflict. I love this fucking band. 
I even have their flag. I bought their flag. And that's it right there. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I am a super fan of Conflict. Um, very excited for their new album. But let's jump into this biography. Now, biography isn't really going to be too much, but um, I didn't get to do a biography before with the previous albums because we didn't do that in album reviews or album reactions or fuck people are calling this shit. Industrial Metal Machine from Moscow, Russia, formed in 2004. Cold, intense, and solid sound imbued with a futuristic atmosphere combined with jazz patterns and post rock nuances. Piercing extreme vocals merge with power and ferocity accompanied by a clear, dark, yet angelic voice. Recently invited such great vocalists as Burton C. Bell of Fear Factory, Dave Low Miller of A Dark Halo, Jace Lewis, and Karsten Jagger of Disbelief to perform on the third length album Decision Code. For fans of Fear Factory, Mechana, Cybreed, and Arch Enemy. Um, I also interviewed Anna as well. It's also on the channel. But I'm pretty sure that does it. And we're going to get into the full discography. Oh, the members. Excuse me. The members. Let's get the members for the band first. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure you got the same four members. Um, but we'll, we'll go into past members as well. Um, so we got Mikhail or Michael on drums. Alexi on guitars. Rodian on guitars. And Anna on vocals. Anna has been the following band's stentorian voice, forgotten past, and parvor nocturnus. And Rodian has been in Big Guns. Um, there was also a lead singer that passed away, and there was a girl in the band. I don't know the girl's name, but uh, the lead singer on the first album had passed away, and they picked up Anna. Uh, I believe his name was Ivan. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it was Ivan. Without further ado, this is my f oh, no, it's not. The full discography of Conflict is as follows. And we're going albums only. We got Conflict Prototype. Transform into a human. Take cover and decision code. All right, guys, let's do this. The first track is Circular Transition. Already getting Fear Factory vibes.
got that, uh, yeah, obsolete vibe. Not so much the manufacturer, but more obsolete. but it also reminds me of Frontline Assembly with the ambience. really reminds me of like a combination of Fear Factory with Spear Norway. Pretty sick song, dude. I like this. Nice ambience in it. Frequency Addicted, album version. Another one I've already heard. Used to be the channel intro. It used to be the channel fucking anthem. <laughs> I love that low 
over to high. That's so cool. And then that spaced out vocal with the low too is cool too. Really awesome song, man. I like the glitching guitars too. You got that synth going over over all this chorus too, like in the background. I think it's the part that remind me of Oblivion Machine when I first heard it. That's a bass. That's a bass over the guitar. Listen to that meaty ass bass, dude. That's cool. Mikau is a hell of a drummer, dude. Here comes my favorite part. Listen to those whispers going on in the left and right here. It's really fucking cool, man. Really brings you into the mood. I still don't understand why they changed this version from the single version. The single version is way better. Gasgar fucking goggles, dude. Yeah. I agree, dude. I agree. Awesome. So is this album go just going to be a one stop? There's no stops at all? Impulse Control Disorder is our next track. Yeah, so far I'm getting Cybreed, Fear Factory, Oblivion Machine, and Arch Enemy. same production as the manufacturer but it has the ambience and it has the composition of obsolete Ooh. oh this is sick Yeah. 
the band singing with her, like gang vocals? That's cool. This is a good one. It has also the composition and the production of uh, the one with Fear Campaign on it. I can't remember the name of the fucking album. Um, don't fucking tell me. This one's right after the industrialist, or right before the industrial, excuse me. Mechanized, there it is. Mechanized. It has mechanized guitar tone. vibe to it too. Pretty wild. This song. Oh! Listen to that. She's talking and screaming. That's cool. I liked it though. Awesome. So that's our first break, man. Really, really fucking awesome uh three songs that have the fucking trifecta there. Really, really cool. Um I wasn't expecting a thrash vibe in this album. That's pretty cool, man. I, I like I said, the guitar tone really reminds me of Mechanize. Uh, album production and but uh, sorry not album production it has the it has the guitar tone of mechanized but it has the composition of obsolete and then it has the production of the manufacturer in my personal opinion that's what it sounds like that they that they kind of went for there and so they're all fear factory albums in case you guys don't know 